The planet lost <clears throat> about half of all megafaunal species during that Younger Dryas. Now, there was already animals disappearing leading up to it because I think could be attributed to whatever happened at 14,600 years ago, where I talked about earlier Meltwater Pulse 1A. That's when the, the shit really started to seem like it started coming down. And then it peaked Younger Dryas, 12,850. And then we had the impact winter for 1,300 years. And at the end of that, it wasn't a gradual warming, it was a catastrophic warming. By that time, I think whatever species had managed to survive, some of the early events may have succumbed at that point. You know, the controversies come down to, was it nature, was it climate, was it human hunters? I think it was all of that, but I think hunters was probably a minor contributor to it because for one thing, it now appears that the human population took a major crash at the same time. We see that there's evidence that the Clovis culture in North America pretty much completely disappeared right at that boundary. Well, they weren't the only ones around the planet. Now, if you go and you look at you know, some of the archeological evidence, one of the things that you see over and over again is, well, there was this cultural group in Japan or wherever, I just read a paper on that recently, and apparently there was some kind of social disruption and they got up and they migrated and moved away. Well, maybe they did, but maybe they didn't move away. Maybe they didn't survive. And there was a tendency to think, well, you have this evidence of cultural habitation of this area for centuries or millennium, and then suddenly you don't. Well, people must have picked up and moved, but maybe that's not the explanation. Maybe it's more a case of <laughs> they got wiped out.